In St. Paul Public Schools, every student has access to an iPad to use for learning. iPads are small mini computers that are portable and easy to use. They're a powerful tool that can help teachers personalize each student's learning. iPads will give all students access to the same great technology and learning resources. Most students in grades pre-K through five will be using their iPads in school. They will be stored and charged in carts in their classrooms. Most students in secondary schools will have the option to take their iPads home. This video includes information for students about their responsibilities for using iPads and also provides tips for parents for when students bring their iPads home. Each iPad comes with a sturdy case to protect it as much as possible, along with a charger and cord. To clean the screen, use only soft cloth, like a clean, dry dish towel. Don't use liquids or household cleaners. At school, if you are not using your iPad for some time, store it in a locked locker, but don't put anything on top of the iPad. With having an iPad, there also comes the responsibility to be good digital citizens. This means students must be responsible, safe, productive, and respectful when using the iPad. Being responsible when using the iPad means keeping your iPad in its protective case at all times and not putting anything between the case and the screen display. Be careful to protect it from being damaged, especially by not throwing or swinging your backpack when the iPad is in it. Keep food, beverages, and other liquids away from the iPad so it doesn't get damaged. It is also important to protect the iPad from very cold or hot temperatures. Make sure not to leave it lying in the sun or leaving it in a car on a hot or cold day and never leave the iPad visible in a vehicle. Do not access any internal parts of the iPad or install an app that changes the iPad's settings. Being safe when you have your iPad means when you carry your iPad to and from school, always keep it in your school bag or backpack so that it is not visible. Don't use your iPad or allow it to be visible when waiting at a bus stop or train station riding public transportation, or when walking about in the community. Never leave your iPad in an unsupervised area at school or anywhere on the school grounds, including athletic fields and playgrounds. If you have to go somewhere, even for a few minutes, bring the iPad with you or lock it in a locker. Your iPad has a passcode on it that keeps others from opening the iPad and seeing your personal information. Do not share this number with anyone else. Each iPad also has a unique number on the back that links the iPad to you and a label with your name on it. These show the iPad is district property and it's important not to write or put stickers covering the number or label. Being productive means that students who have permission to take the iPad home at night should take the iPad home with them after school every day and charge their batteries before coming to school. During instructional time, only use apps provided by the school and website your teacher asks you to use for your assignments. Always give credit to sources when you are doing research or citing someone's work. Students can download their own apps from the SPPS App Store. Also know that you may be asked to delete any personal content on your iPad to make room on it if the memory starts to run low. Being respectful means iPads are not allowed in locker rooms and bathrooms and should never be used to embarrass, bully, or harass others. Take inappropriate photos or videos of others. Take or share personal information about yourself or others. Email, post, send images or recordings without a person's written permission. Be aware that your iPad is the property of the district and a teacher or administrator can look at its content at any time, just like the content of your locker. If your iPad is lost, stolen, or broken, call the district service desk as soon as possible. If you need help with a technical issue, like connecting to a wireless network, using the iPad, or to ask specific questions about the Apple apps installed on your iPad, call the Apple Care line. When calling Apple Care, you'll need to provide your PIN code located on the name label on the back of your iPad. Information for parents. While the iPad is a great learning tool, it can also be a distraction. 
As a parent or guardian, you can set clear expectations and rules about iPad use at home. Don't be afraid to monitor and limit screen time when a student's homework is finished. Some tips on successfully limiting screen time include Set up parent internet controls on your student's iPad. Require your student to use and charge their iPads in a central location in your living room. Require your student to complete school assignments before they use the device to access the internet, play games, or listen to music. If your student damages or fails to return their iPad and its accessories, parents may be held liable for fines or full replacement costs. Visit the Personalized Learning website for more information to help you with the iPad through the Student and Family iPad Handbook.